Charles, how you doing? Yeah, I thought this was interesting too. You had stated that uh, um, you included the concept because you think it's interesting how the images uh, we do still evolve as we're translating them from paper to digital digital medium, and that's a really really interesting concept. I think that's one that's worth talking about a little. One of the reasons I think that um, that I talked about so much about in the sketch stage about you know understanding that your idea, your final concept might not be included in your sketches, but that's fine because the sketch stage is about idea generation. For so, so for you to pick up on that and say how it's interesting that images still do evolve as you're translating them from paper to digital, that's fantastic and that's very true. Because, and I always, always, I'm really super careful to mention to students that, you know, you, your, your, your final solution, it may not be included in, in what you've, you know, it may come down to you really sitting down in another design session and really taking a look at your work and deciding what's working and what's not working and, and then transitioning and making some final decisions from there. So I think that you're, you're showing a, a good, um, a good awareness of that in your writing so that's fantastic thanks so much for including that okay first logo uh the shield with the satellite in this kind of target now i think that there's one of the things i would say about your logos is as i think that one of the things we really need to keep on the logo keep in mind regarding logo design is is just how simple how well simplicity works simplicity is your friend in logo design absolutely Think of the Nike logo, for example. It's one mark. It's got meaning behind it. But unless you know that meaning, it, it really is, is just a simple, recognizable mark. Why is it so successful? It's got good conceptual ties in with the meaning. And the Nike, the goddess of speed, uh, or the winged foot goddess of, of flight. Um, is it flight or is it, is it speed? At any rate, it was the wings coming off her foot, right? So that was the importance of, of that connection. But the mark itself is so simple that it, it's, it has no choice but to be memorable. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take a look at this and see how we can simplify it. Because right now you've got at least four or five different signifiers going on. You've got the shield, that's one. You've got the circle with the kind of target in the middle, that's two. You've got the satellite, that's three. You've got the signal coming from the satellite, that's four. Then you have the whole association, which is five. So you've got five different signifiers here. And I would like to think of the Nike logo. It's got one. Okay, so the more, the less kind of signifiers you have, the more simple the logo is going to be, the more successful it is likely to be based on its simplicity. What I'd like you to do with Guardian here is figure out how to really simplify this logo. Okay, let's move to your other, your second logo. And I think the same thing can be said here. Let's count the signifiers here. You've got color in this one. So you've got color, that's one. You've got the shield in the background, that's two. You've got the all-seeing eye, that's three. You've got the binary code in the eye, that's four. You've got the illustration and the whites of the eye, that's five. You've got the drop shadows in the text, that's six. So there's this is entirely too complex. I think it's you know it's really easy to, to, to say look for someone to look at this logo and say yes we need to really simplify this. So my main point on both of your logos is really simplify these. Get these down to the most simplified format, and you'll find that the more simplistic it gets, the more memorable it's going to be. Okay, so think about how you can do that, and I would like to see those changes made towards your final submission uh, for the milestone. All right, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you.